An American doctor performing Israel's first robotic surgery, our own Dr. David Samadi, performing the first robotic prostate surgery ever in the Jewish state. Medical professionals, military generals, even Israel's chief rabbi, all asking to meet with him. Dr. David Samadi, a member of the Fox News Medical A team, live in Jerusalem. Always good to see you. Tell us what you're teaching the doctors in Israel. Uh, Rick, thank you for having me. This is a very, very exciting time in Israel. We've been here for about three days and we've been able to uh, start the robotic program at a hospital called Rambam Hospital in Haifa. We have performed three cases so far and the patients have done amazingly well. And not only the families, but also the hospital and the doctors, they're extremely excited about this. Obviously, as you know, we've had this discussion in the past. The blood loss is less with these surgeries. They're getting to go home earlier. And as far as the quality of life with urinary control and sexual functions, these patients are doing quite well. There is a big excitement over here because the history of medicine in Israel has always been quite advanced. And they have used robotics in the army, in the factory, in other fields. But now this is entering the operating rooms. A couple of other hospitals, such as Hadassah and Tel Hashomer, have been performing robotic surgery. But the learning curve for this operation, Rick, as you know, is very steep. It's a great privilege to be here and work with the Israeli team to be able to share our knowledge and our skills and learn from each other to be able to take care of these patients. Yep. Now, one of the other exciting news over here is that over the next few days, I will be performing live surgeries at a hospital in Tel Aviv called Tel Hashomer. Many Israeli urologists are excited about coming in and watching our high-tech or modern robotic surgery called smart surgery. There's a lot of information on smart-surgery.com about this operation. Minimum uh, surgery around the prostate, saving the nerves that are sensitive for sexual functions. These surgeries are done within an hour and a half, and it's wonderful to be able to really telecast this to all the Israeli doctors here in, in this country. Very exciting, Dr. Samadhi, because this is a procedure that you developed at Mount Sinai here in the United States, and you're now able to teach doctors from all over the world uh, how to perform this and, and, and bring these amazing benefits to their patients, really all over the place. When you look at the future of robotics medicine as a whole, and I know this is your specialty, what do you see as we look into the future? Rick, I think this will open a lot of doors, especially to institutions like Mount Sinai in New York, academic collaborations with many hospitals all over the world, especially here in Israel, where we are able to be able to watch our, each, each, each other's surgeries, teleconferencing where they can watch our surgery, telementoring where we can watch their surgery and be able to show them, and may, perhaps one day the concept of telesurgery, Rick, where we can operate from New York all the way to Israel on a patient can become a reality and this is a lot of excitement uh, going on all over and I'm very happy to be in the middle of this. You know you're in Israel which uh, in case people don't know happens to be one of the most technologically advanced countries in the entire world. It's a tiny little country but some of the, of the greatest advances in technology have originated in Israel. There must be some things that you can learn from your medical counterparts there, right? It absolutely has been a wonderful collaboration. I can tell you that they have uh, opened their arms. They are extremely hospitable from many members of uh, scientists and, and urologists and also parts of the government. They have made this trip very, very special for us, and I want to thank every one of them. We have learned tremendous from them, and this collaboration is very, very serious, but also very special. Well, I hope you're getting a chance to do some sightseeing while you're out in Israel. It's one of my favorite places. Uh, we wish you a safe journey. Uh, great work Absolutely. over there. And we're so lucky to have you on our medical A-team, Dr. David Samadi of Mount Sinai uh, Hospital here in the States. Thanks very much. See you soon. Thank you so much, and happy holidays to everyone. Thanks, Doc.